Kal or Kala Sanskrit, Kala KL, Tamil, Kalam Listen, Kalam or Kala is a word used in Sanskrit to mean time. The Tamil word Kalam refers to duration an interval in time. It is also the name of a deity, in which sense it is not always distinguishable from Kala, meaning black. It is often used as one of the various names or forms of Yama. Kal, Kala is also referred to the concept of space-time. In the yogic system the concept of space-time was referred to as one word rather than two separate concepts of space darkness and time. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Monier Williams's widely used Sanskrit English dictionary lists two distinct words with the form kala. Kala one means black of a dark color, dark blue, and has a feminine form ending in i kali, as mentioned in Panini 4 to 1, 42. Kala two means a fixed or right point of time, a space of time, time, destiny, fate, death and has a feminine form found at the end of compounds ending in a as mentioned in the arjveda pratisakya as a traditional hindu unit of time one kala corresponds to 144 seconds according to monier williams kala 2 is from the verbal root kal to calculate while the root of kala 1 is uncertain though possibly the same topic as a deity As applied to gods and goddesses in works such as the Devi Mahatmya and the Skanda Purana, Kala 1 and Kala 2 are not readily distinguishable. Thus Wendy Doniger, translating a conversation between Shiva and Parvati from the Skanda Purana, says Mahakala may mean, "...the great death or the great black one." And Swami Jagadisvarananda, a Hindu translator of the Devi Mahatmya, renders the feminine compound Kala Ratri where Ratri means, "...night." as dark night of periodic dissolution as time personified destroying all things kala is a god of death sometimes identified with yama topic in the epics and the puranas kala appears as an impersonal deity within the mahabharata the ramayana and the bhagavata purana in the Mahabharata, Krishna, one of the main characters, reveals his identity as time personified. He states to Arjuna that both sides on the battlefield of the Kurukshetra war have already been annihilated. At the end of the epic, the entire Yadu dynasty Krishna's family is similarly annihilated. The story ends with Yudhishthira, the last of the Pandava brothers, entering heaven in his human form, thereby closing the link. In heaven, Yudhi sees everyone within the story, both people whom he hated, and people whom he loved, and is happy to see them all. He then sees their transcendent cosmic forms, Krishna as Vishnu, Draupadi as Uma, and realizes that the participants in the play were merely gods in human form, engaging in pastimes and working out their karma. Yudhi then abandons his bitterness and spends the rest of eternity in heaven, it is a happy ending. Kala appears in the Uttara Kanda of the Ramayana, as the messenger of death Yama. At the end of the story, time, in the form of inevitability or necessity, informs Rama that his reign on earth is now over. By a trick or dilemma, he forces the death of Lakshmana, and informs Rama that he must return to the realm of the gods. Lakshmana willingly passes away with Rama's blessing and Rama returns to heaven. Time appears in the Bhagavata Purana as the force that is responsible for the imperceptible and inevitable change in the entire creation. According to the Purana, all created things are illusory, and thereby subject to creation and annihilation. This imperceptible and inconceivable impermanence is said to be due to the march of time. Similarly, time is considered to be the unmanifest aspect of God that remains after the destruction of the entire world at the end of a lifespan of Brahma. In the Chaitanya Bhagavata, a Gaudiya Vaishnavist text and biography of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it is said that the fire that emerges from the mouth of Sankarshana at the end of time is the Kalanala, or fire of time. One of the names of Sankarshana is Kalagni, also fire of time. The Vishnu Purana also states that time kala is one of the four primary forms of Vishnu, the others being matter, pradana, visible substance, vyakta, and spirit. Purusha. In the Bhagavad Gita 
At Bhagavad Gita 11.32, Krishna takes on the form of Kala, the destroyer, announcing to Arjuna that all the warriors on both sides will be killed, apart from the Pandavas. Kalo smi lokaksayakart pravardo lokan samahartam iha pravarta This verse means, Time Kala, I am, the great destroyer of the worlds, and I have come here to destroy all people. This phrase is famous for being quoted by J. Robert Oppenheimer as he reflected on the Manhattan Project's explosion of the first nuclear bomb in 1945. In other cultures In Javanese mythology, Batara Kala is the god of destruction. It is a very huge mighty and powerful god depicted as giant, born of the sperm of Shiva, the kings of gods. In Borobudur, the gate to the stairs is adorned with a giant head, making the gate look like the open mouth of the giant. Many other gates in Javanese traditional buildings have this kind of ornament. Perhaps the most detailed Kala face in Java is on the south side of Kandy Kalasan. See also Kala Chakra Kali Mahakala <laughs>